Oceans and Mountains of Peace in the month of July, I'm Cheryl Wolliver with Susan Weed's Wise Woman Forum. I'm also creator of Yoga Legends, which is stories that connect the yoga poses. So I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce you to the journey and show you how the story connects the poses. There are 22 poses in the journey, but in this video we will be looking just at the first four. So, the journey begins on the mountain. We stand in mountain pose. We think or feel our favorite mountain, what it looks like. We feel strong and powerful in this mountain pose. Rooted deeply on the mountain, trees grow tall. So we bring ourselves into the tree pose. The branches reach out and upwards to catch the wind. I like to do a little side bending pose here just to challenge my balance. Then I like to be here and experience what it would be like to be a tree in the wind. Since we have to do both sides, we'll have to do the tree pose again. Now maybe your leg does not go all the way up. Maybe you need to place your leg just be above your knee, maybe just below the knee, or you feel more comfortable with your foot on the floor for better balance. We bring the hands together, we reach our branches upward, out, maybe we want to catch the wind again. And again, we explore what it's like to be a tree for a few moments. In one of these trees sits a watchful eagle. So the story brings us very easy, easily and gently into the eagle pose. The eagle opens its wings and stretches them wide and then settles back onto its perch. Now, if your leg doesn't wrap around, just place it on top of the knee, or maybe you'd like your foot on the floor again for better um, balance. If your right leg is on top, that means your left arm goes on top. So there's a little bit of the opposition going there. If your arms don't wrap around one another, then just bring your forearms together and your hands together so each finger finds its mate. The eagle's keen eyesight looks down and sees a warrior gazing out at the horizon, over the horizon, from this mountain peak. The warrior looks to the north and then turns to look into the south at this panoramic view. A golden crescent moon glows in the morning sky. So from the warrior pose, we drop down, reach the arms up, place the top of the foot onto the floor, and reach ourselves into the beautiful crescent moon position. We imagine the crescent moon in the sky. We feel as though we are part of this crescent moon. Now, because we're not going to do the whole story, just the first four poses, we're going to come forward into a half forward fold, step the other foot back, and do the crescent moon position on the other side. Now, your arms may only reach up here, balance may be shaky, you may place a hand on your knee, reaching upward with the other arm and back if you can. Eyes focused on your fingers or past your fingers. Exhaling, we come forward, straighten the leg, step ourselves forward to the half forward fold, and coming up to the mountain pose where our journey began. Now, if you'd like more information on the DVD, The Journey, 
you may visit the World Wide Web at pacific-elements.com or susanweed.com. So thank you. May your journey be filled with light and adventure this month. Namaste.